lights flash to say that she's on CGC. That's then calibrated the CJC part. Then she press the button again to calibrate the zero part. Then she's going to switch box for, 100, for an input of 100 degrees Celsius and calibrate the, uh, the span board. And that's your span reading. And then check for minus 40 Celsius. Okay, and that's a board that's passed. Okay. So uh, soldering the pro wires onto the boards. Okay. Well, that pants used to uh, adhere the uh, silica gel sachet inside the uh, case. Phone pad on there so it helps retain the batteries inside the unit. Okay. Now she's going to mount the board in. Serial number on the back of the board. This is a difficult part, it's coiling the wire around inside the probe there. The use of rubber stop goes doing for a second. The rubber stop goes in that area there so that when the you're getting this on there. So when the probe wire goes through there, the rubber stop will maintain a, a moisture moisture barrier. It seals, it seals that wire down and obviously will stop any moisture coming through to the internal of the um, of the instrument. Thank you, sir. This is the fiddly bit of the assembly. Sarah's done a few now so she makes it look easy. <laughs> Having said that. <laughs> now she's going to make up for this side of the case. Use an electric screwdriver to case down, which has been set to a short course of point. 5-8 newtons into a bag to seal, seal the instrument to maintain the moisture, moisture barrier. Okay. We will put the instruments into each of the bars, giving the instruments 30 seconds to acclimate uh, to settle down. So first of all, she lays them out on the bench to do the CJC, the first step which is the CJC calibration. There's a little button in the back. Joe will then press that button to 
do the zero calibration. It shows a figure of about 21.5. I don't know if you saw that very briefly. That's an error there. one? That's an error one. It's a bit that we've seen an error one. We'll go through that one. You may have a problem with uh, that one. Do you want to press that button again just a minute? Just so you can see that going. You see the 21.5 the cal? Yeah. And then it will come up with an error. error. Okay, I'll take that one back out with me. I'll say to look at that one. My squash profile. This is pressing the button again, get cal, and then it should come up with 100.0. Which it does. Yeah. Joe will then fold the probe in to turn the instrument off, then turn the instrument back on to make sure that the calibration data has been saved in the microprocessor and we'll return it to the zero bath then to check for a temperature of zero degrees Celsius. with the zero degree Celsius. For yourself then, should we then flick the switch to position one so that uh, when the instrument is opened up again, which will demonstrate for you, it will now read in Fahrenheit. <laughs> 